Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn Hindi and we are here because we want to learn Urdu. We are learning both the languages together how to read and write. Today is our day number three. Today we'll start out with two letters. They are already on the blackboard. The first letter is what we call in Urdu Kaf. It's called Kaf. The next letter we're going to learn, we're going to learn them together, which is Gaf. Right here, Gaf. K and G. Let's put them together, see, see what they look like when we have, when we put them together with the Aki Matra. So here's our K. Here's our K, what we call in Urdu Kaf. And when we combine Kaf with an Aleph, it looks something like this. It changes. It, it changes the shape entirely. It looks nothing like this. So it becomes a long line and then a tummy like that. And then you put this line there up here. And that becomes a cow. It doesn't matter whether it is up here or whether it is joining here. I'll show you here. It doesn't matter whether you run it like this or bring it all the way down. It makes no difference. But that's a cow. Similarly, we'll do the gaff, which is very simple. We don't have to, we don't have to do it separately. So we have a guy here. We have a ga here, which we call gaf in Urdu, and gaf, alif, ga. When you combine with alif, when you have aki matra, it becomes a ga. There we go. That's all. Let's begin. We're going to write few words, and we're going to practice how to write these letters and other letters, obviously. That's the idea. Let's begin. Very simple letters. Why very simple letters? Because simple letters is all we can, simple words I meant rather. Why simple words? Because simple words is all we can manage. Because we have not learned any other matra other than Aki matra. So we are very limited. Here we go. <coughs> the first word is Realif Ra. Realif Ra. And then Gaf. Rag. Here's, the, here's our Ray. We learned it on the first day. Ray. It is called Ray. And this is Hindi letter R. So Ra G. So here's the Ra. Here's the Aki Matra, which is right here, which we do not, in Urdu, we do not call it Aki Matra, we call it Aleph. So Ra and then G. G, I have to slow down. The G, I have to slow down because I haven't quite actually gathered yet as to how to write it properly, but I hope this is right. This is G. Ra G. Here's the one more. Aleph, which is a. Uh, this is dal. The dal. We learned it on those from the first day. The dal. A uh, the. And this is re. A uh, the r. And k. Four letters. Four simple letters together, with no matra whatsoever. No aki matra. No iki matra. Nothing. No no matra at all. A uh, the r k adrak. A. Uh, the R that's not a K A the R K Adrak Let's do one more Ka Falif Ka and this is the letter we learned this is the letter we learned the other day on the second day right here it is called Jim G makes a J sound, J. But when you combine it, when you combine it with some other letter, it does not have this shape here. So G, we're going to combine it with L, or not, rather with Lam. And when the G joins the Lam, it looks like this. And what, is it, what, do you suppose, what do you suppose it makes? Ka, Jal. This is Jal. Ka, J, and then La. Kajal. Kajal is something which you put in your eyes. Uh, mascara, I believe, is called. Uh, some things that the uh, ladies put in their eyes. Kajal. Ka. Jal. We also learned L yes, last time. Where did we learn L? Right here. Uh, this is called La. This is your love. Kajal. Let's do the next one. 
then we have ka, again ka, and then ro, and then no. Karan, karan is in cause, what we call in Urdu, waja, cause of something. Karan, ka, run, karan. Well, here's the next one, which is a very simple word. So here's our curl. This is how it looks like when it is about to join something. If it's not going to join something, it appears by itself at the end of the word, then of course it looks like this. But when it's about to join something, that's what it looks like. And we're going to join it with lam. We're going to join it with lam and it becomes kul. Kul. Kul as in tomorrow. Kul. As in tomorrow, or oh, strangely enough, in our languages, and when I say languages, I mean yours and mine, Urdu and Hindi, uh, strangely enough, the word is the same for tomorrow and yesterday. Me kal gaya tha, me kal jaunga. It's the same word. You just have to figure out from the context and the grammar whether the guy is talking about the past or the future. There's another one. Ka falif ka. Ka falif ka. Oh, that does not say kal. That says kal. Bloody hell, how did that make a difference? That is wrong. That says kal. That's not what we want. We want kal. It will be open like this. It will, it will look something like this. Kal. That's ka. Ka. La. Kala. As I said the first day, the first video, I'm doing this, uh, I'm making this video for my own benefit because I want to learn how to write Hindi, but equally important to me is that I want to relearn Urdu, and that's, that's, that's hence the boo-boo. Kala. Kala. Oh, I went too fast here, I didn't explain this thing. So this is a Lam, and when you jo join Aleph with it, we talked about it yesterday when we did Lam, when we join Aleph with it, this, this alif part goes in the tummy and becomes a la. Ka la. Ka la as in, as in black. Ka la. Let's keep on going. The next word we have is ka and then noon. This is called noon. This letter is called noon. Noon is something we did very first letter yesterday on day number two. Noon is called noon, which is you, which is our no. And the name of this letter is noon. Ka no kan. Kan is in kan kan is in ear. Noon. Let's keep on going. The next one is go. You see, it's open. It should have been open because it's not a, it's not a, when it's, when it's closed like this, then it becomes, then it's about to join the alif part. This is g, and then r, right here is our r, re, we learned it last time, r, g, r, m, garam, garam. I'm going to write this re a little bit bigger, and the d, because they're too tiny. Re and the R, R and the G, R, M, Garam. Garam is in hot. G, R, M, Garam. Let's do one more. So here is the close part. Now it's close. And it's a Ga. It's a Ga. Ga. This is our jim, gajar. You see the jim a little while ago we wrote down here? That's the jim. Because it's about to join something. Gajar. If the jim appears by itself it, towards the very end of the word by itself, then of course it would have been entire jim looks like this. But when it, when it joins something, we only write a part of it. Because it has to join the next letter. Gajar. Gajar is in carrot. Ga, Jero, Gajar. Let's keep going. Khan, Garam, Gajar. Ga, 
No, ga no. Ga no. Gana is in to sing. Here's a little difficult one. This is called wow. It makes a word sound. And the name of the letter is wow. We learned it yesterday. We learned it just yesterday. It's called wow. Wow. Wa, which makes the word sound. Then we have ka sound. So far we have wo, ka, and then la, lam is going to join the te. This is a lo sound, this is a to sound. So the last two, last part is lat. Wo, ka, lat. Wa, ka, lat. And this is not written in a very pretty way. It should not be going up like that. It should be at the same level. Wa, ka, lat. Wa, ka, lat is in uh, practicing law, being lawyerly, being a lawyer. Wa, ka, lat. Wa, ka, Lat. Pakalat. Let's keep on going. The next one is, I'm going to be a little lazy. I'm going to leave the ga. Next one is ga and alarm. Ga la. Ga la. Gal. Gal as in cheek. Gal. Here's another one. So this is a la, 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 and it's about to join G. And when it joins it, it looks like this. Let me rewrite it. When you, when you stop in the middle of it, it doesn't flow. I'm going to write it freehand. La, ga, mo, la, gam. La, gam is in rain, to control an animal or something. La, gam. And it looks like this. La, Ga, mo, lagam. Here's another one. Another one with la, ga. La, ga, na, lagana. La, la. Ka, no, lagana. And then I have one last one. Na, go. Nag. Nag is in cobra, a snake. Nag. So that was a little bit of a practice with the, some of the words. We're going to move on to the next letter. Okay? As I explained yesterday and I explained the first day, we want to learn at least about 20 letters. We already know the, we already know the Aki Matra. If we can learn about 20 letters, then we can move on to learning the next Matra, which is the Iki Matra. And then we can, then we'll be able to put words which are a little bit more interesting. Otherwise, we're going to graduate ourselves from babyish word to a little bit more complicated. But we have to learn a few letters first before we can put the words together. Right now we're very limited. We only have, we have to hear. Now we're going to learn ter. So far we have learned only 16 letters. We're gonna learn we're gonna learn two or three more today, as you can see there. We're gonna learn two or three more today, and then we're gonna learn few more tomorrow on day number four, and then on the day number five, we're gonna start Iki Matra. Let's learn le letter T. This should have said 16, not 7. If that is 15, that should be 16, not 7. Number 16. And this is our T. That's it, that's T. And it's in Urdu, this letter is called... This letter is called T. And it looks something like this. It has this shape, which the first, with, uh, we, uh, among the first four letters that we learned, Alif being number one, then we learn Be, Pe, Te, it takes the same shape. 
Here's a here's a B. Here's a P. Here's a T. In T that we are about to learn takes the same shape, but what goes inside is very different. No longer takes any dots. This one is one dot at the bottom. This one is this one has three dots at the bottom. P. This one has two dots inside, and this one has a symbol that looks like this, like this. And this symbol also happens to be a letter by itself. We will talk about it when the time comes. But that's what it looks like. That's a T. That makes the T sound. T. Let's learn some. Let's let's make some words, shall we? Here's the first one. Alif mat a, and then mid T. When the T joins the alif, it's very simple. When T joins the alif, just like the B and the P and the T, it's very simple. When it joins it, it loses this this uh, rectangular shape and becomes a circular shape, and then you join the alif. Ta. A ta. A. Ta. A ta is in flower. There's another one. Ba ta. Ba ta. Just one more. Next one is a little tricky. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the ta, and then we're going to join the mim and the alif, and then we're going to join t and the and the ta and the ra. That's what we have to do. The question is, how are we going to join them? Of course, how are we going to join them? Your hint is right here. These two are going to join, and these two are going to join, and somehow this will have to. This guy will have to join the party as well. But what he says is, this is t, which is ta, me, alif ma, ta ma, and this is ta ra. Tomato. Tomato is in tomato. Let's join them together. Ma. So first we have our ta, and then ma. It's like this. Meme is written like this. We talked about it yesterday. This is meme, but when it joins it, when it's about to join the next letter, instead of going from the top, you have to come from the bottom, and it starts at the bottom like this. This is a meme. This is the meme when it's about to join something. This is a meme when it's by itself. This is a ma, and now all you have to do is put an alif on top of it. it becomes a ma. Ma. So, but and and, and then on top of that, it's joining the ta. So it goes like this. Then ma, ta ma, and then again ta, and ra, tomato. You see how different it is when it joins everything. That's how we write tomato. Let's do one more time. I'm going to do it freehand this time. Tomato. Ta, ma, ta. I love Hindi language because it's so simple putting putting words together because nothing joins everything is by itself you don't have to worry about how it's going to change its shape and how this is this particular letter joins this particular letter but not that particular letter there are too many exceptions and too many rules in Urdu that you have to know as to how to combine the letters together to learn the script none of that exists in Hindi it's just simple ta ma ter here's your alif that's your alif meme this is your te Mim, alif, te, and re, but nothing joins together. Very straightforward. This is a little tricky. Oh, I raised the letter that we are, we are learning. Lost it because I wasn't paying attention. Tomato. Here's the next one. So here's our te, and then it joins the re. So far, it's ter. It's not ter we want. Is tra, tra, and then meme, tram, tram is in train or tram. Tram, tra, mo, tram. Here's the next one. It's very straightforward. It only has two letters, te and noon. Ton. Ton is in weight. One ton. Next one is also very straightforward, a simple word. Tail if ta, tail if ta. Ta ta is in goodbye. Ta ta. 
ta, ta. Let's do one more. So here's ka, and then it joins the te, and so far, ka and a te make a cut sound. Ka, ta, cut, and then we're gonna join it with nun alif na. Cut na, cut na is to cut something. Cut na. Yes, we know all of this letter and this one too. There's one more. Let's do, let's do it here. Actually, next one is I need a little bit more room. So here we go. So this is. This part, as you can see, it looks nothing like when it appears in the whole form, which looks which is this. When did we learn it? Oh, we haven't learned it yet. We have not learned. We have not learned S yet. S, sir. We have not learned it. Never mind. I forget the whole thing. It's too early for that. I don't know why. Why I had that word in my list. It's too early for that. Let's move on. So I, we need the room, so I'm going to erase all of this thing. We don't need a curl and a girl anymore. So, on the list of do to do uh, to do things, on the list of to do things, we did the curl, we did the girl, we did the tur, and now we're going to do year. Kaf, gaf, te, and ye. We call it ye. We call it in Hindi. It's called ye. We call it ye. And ye comes in two flavors. This letter, ye, is what we call ye, and it comes in two flavors. One is what is known as choti ye. And one is what is known, obviously you guessed it. Bury you. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Bury you. Small, small year and big year. Small year, choti year, looks like this. One more time, I'm going to write it in the big letter, big, big forms, yeah. like this. And buddy year looks like this. Okay, pay very close attention because things are going to get quite nasty, quite fast. What we call choti year, what we call choti year, serves. as Badi E Ki Matra It's just the opposite what is known as choti ye, small ye, is what we use in Urdu for what is used in Hindi as badi ki matra. Wherever you see, wherever you see this symbol in Urdu words, wherever you dis, see this symbol in Urdu words, it is being used as badi ki matra. Or, and I'll tell you or part in a second. We will leave the or part right now alone. Let's talk about body here. It serves two functions. Just like wow, yesterday when we learned wow, yesterday on day number two when we learned wow, we talked about the fact that wow serves also as oki matra and it also serves as a letter by itself. If it's used as a letter by itself, then it just makes a word sound which is exact equivalent of the Hindi letter wa. But wow also is used in Urdu script as a matra or what you guys call matra, which is oki matra. Same thing is going to apply here. 
Choti ye and badi ye also serve as a matra, like here, and they, and they also serve as a letter by themselves, as a simple letter as ye. Right now we're talking about this part, the fact that choti ye serves as the badi ki matra, and badi ye, badi ye serves as Eki matra. When the time comes, when the time comes, we'll worry about that. Eki matra. I hope I wrote it correctly. But right here, right now, in the words that we are about to hear, about to write, right now, right now, we are simply using it as a letter Y or Y. That's it. All the words that we about, all the words that we are about to write, it serves simply as a letter Y, not as a matra. Let's begin. We need the room, so I'm going to raise this. If you just give me one second to take a quick break. So this is what we are concentrating on and everything else is going to go away. Let's begin. Shall we? Very simple word, the very first one. Oh, another thing we have to under, we have to remember, which I forgot to tell you, whether it comes in the form of a shorty year, whether it is being used as a shorty year or bari year, when it joins another letter, when this either of these two letters appear in the middle of the word, they take entirely different form, both of them. They both they both take the same form in the written form, and it looks something like this. It's around like this and two dots. That's how it's gonna appear every time. That's how it's going to appear from here every time. Then the question is, if they both take the same shape in the written, in the joint form, then how is one to tell, how is the reader to tell whether it is being used as a choti year or badi year? That's a very good question. The answer to which is from the context. You read the, you read the word and you figure out by yourself whether it is being used as a badi year or choti year. Or sometimes, or sometimes some people who are very picky about the language, they use this symbol for badi year and they use this symbol with two dots and a little line on the bottom. This is called Kara Zabar. We have not learned it yet. It's called Kara Zabar because it's standing up. And this letter, there is a symbol called Zabar. We are getting too far ahead of ourselves. But very often you will not see that. You will just see that. And you will have to figure out by yourself whether it is being used as a Chuti or Badi year. But in, in the words that we are about to write, you don't have to worry about any of that because it's simply being used as a sound of year. In the letter year, that's all it is. So here we go. So when this, whether it is choti year joining the alif, in which case it's going to look like this, or whether it is badi year joining the alif, it's going to look like that. Let's begin. The first word we have here is ya. So this is this is year and alif ya. The ya. Yeah, as in memory. Here's another one. Yad Gar. The letter that we learned just, just a little while ago. G Yad Gar. Yad Gar. Yad Gar. I'm going to erase all of this thing, it's getting too crowded. Here's the other one. Alif mat a, alif mat a, and y alif ya. Not y. Sorry, there is no y in, in Urdu. Ye alif ya. A ah, ya. A ah, ya. Here's the other one. Pe alif pa, 
and then yeah, pi up. Pi up. Pi up can have two meanings. One is the dish, I believe. Uh, the one is pi is in to have, a, have done something, to achieve something. Ya, ro, yar, ya, ro. Yar is in, yar is in a friend, a buddy, a chum, a pal, a mate, or it could also be a lover. Here's another one. Pa, pa, and this is you. And this year is about to join Lam, Le. This is Lam. Pa, Yel. Pa, Pa, Yel. As you can see, right now, this Choti year, old body year, doesn't matter uh, to us right now, is perf performing a function of year. Why? That's all it is doing. It's, n it's doing nothing fancy. Pa, Yel. Let's do one more. I don't know why I have words in this list here that we have the letters that we have not learned because the next word I have here is Khayal and oh we did learn Kha no we have not learned Kha yet never mind we are not going to do that here's another word Ka Falif Ka this Ka this is Mo Kaam and this is Ye Alif Ya Kaam Ya can you guess what the last letter is going to be? yes Kaam Ya Kamyab as in to be successful at something. Kamyab. Ka. Mo. Ya. Bo. Kamyab. Wo kamyab ho gaya. Wo kamyab ho gaya. He was successful. He achieved whatever what he wanted to achieve. And incidentally, so did we. Because that's all we're gonna. That's all we wanted to achieve today, and we have done so. We'll meet again tomorrow on day number four. And I promise you, after day number four, on day fifth, we will start second matra, Iki matra, because I'm very anxious. I want to be able to read and write Hindi. This is this is getting too childish. I want to learn. I want to write, read and write some real words, and we'll, that will start on day after tomorrow, on day five, on day uh, on on day fifth. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye now.